Hey, what's up? So what's up guys, um, it's a brand new day, just woke up, it's like around 11 and some change o'clock, and I'm going to do some cardio real quick because I want to get my day started off kind of right, I got weigh-ins today, and um, today's going to be pretty fun, it's going to be planned out with uh, me and Clarissa, I have my sister here, and for like the first time in forever, like a frozen thing, for the first time in forever, um, she's going to be watching my daughter, and I'm going to take Clarissa out, and we're just going to have fun, but it's early in the day, and I want to take you guys throughout it, and um, you guys can just follow me and just have fun with me, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, Lee. Hmm. Stop. Hey, Lee. Stop. Ew. What? Get out of my bed. Get away from me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Right now, I'm waiting for Clarissa to get here, and in the meantime, I'm going to be prepping my food for tomorrow, and I just figured I'd show you guys, like, what I do. Uh, by the way, cardio today was really slow. We just went for, like, a, a like one and a half mile walk, like a, like, like a brisk walk, just to kind of get my body moving throughout the day. But um, what I like to do before I start my meal prep is check out what the hell I have in my fridge to actually <laughs> cook with. Um, I might cook some of this cube steak right here. Let me see. This stuff right here. I got some chicken breast right here. There's some ribs that I'm probably not going to touch. And this salmon is about to get killed. So what I do, what I ended up doing is, or what I do throughout the week is, um, <clears throat> like today's Sunday. And then so I'll food prep just for tomorrow. I know some people who do all their food prep throughout the whole week, which is, I think, really disgusting if you're going to be eating a week's worth of, like, already pre-made food. But what I'm going to do is... I saw what I had in my fridge, now I'm going to go into my fitness pal, put everything that I want to eat according to my macros, and um, this might be kind of weird to some of you guys, but this is something that I do when I'm not in the room making hats. I try to, um, right, right now I'm in a cutting phase, meaning I'm just trying to lose some body fat. I'm in the gym a lot, so I just try to eat healthier and just be on track with my goals and stuff like that. And um, one of my biggest goals is in like the fitness realm, so that's what I'm really focusing on as far as right now before they get here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat anyway, but I uh, just wanna kinda show you guys how I start to start tracking stuff. All right, well, for some reason, the camera isn't really focusing very much, but I track everything with my fitness pal. And for breakfast, I have the oats with the honey. Lunch, I have the steak with the rice. Uh, another lunch, salmon with rice. And for dinner, I have eight ounces of the chicken breast. I wish my camera was focusing so you can kinda see what it has. But uh, for those of you guys who are like into fitness and stuff like that, I'm going to show you what my macros are. Macros are supposed to be 240 carbs, uh, 50, um, I think it's between 40 or 50 fat, I got to check. And protein is supposed to be 180. So right now I'm at 230, fat's at 41, protein's at 179. So I'm kind of spot on except for the carbs and the fats. So I'm going to kind of like rearrange those. So is Uber cheaper than Lyft? The best way to tell is to Google the same exact destination and then I did. check the prices. Which one came out cheaper? <laughs> we need to tape the tape your fingers together. I guess Uber. Uber's cheaper like a dollar, right? Yeah. It's a dollar or two. So where are we going to go? Where do you want to go? Yeah. Hey, Lita. Hey, Lita. Where do you want to go? Your mama's house. My mama's house? Yeah. Okay. I want to go his house. Wanna go to his house? Sachi, yeah. where you wanna go? Did you know you're my best friend? Hmm? You know you're my best friend? What? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, see, it starts at three, three to six. So, like, this taiyaki is four dollars because of the purple dot taiyaki i don't like that but if we go up here to like salmon it's gray dot okay. so it's 450. and how many is there it says it looks like six That's i don't actually know pretty dope. No. <laughs> oh. i can't 
I'm gonna put you in the fridge. <laughs> so while my camera battery was charging, I went ahead and made this Rock Nation hat. Let me see if I can focus it real quick. Come on, please do it. Yes, yes. So I decided to go with the um, the horizontal python skin there. That was what I had available, and uh, I really like the way the color looks. It kind of matches with the with the paper logo or the uh, paper airplane logo. And of course, I had to match it with the strap in the back. I went with the gold. Um, sorry, not gold. The black buckle this time, because I, I you know I like the way it looks. Gold looks good, but sometimes the black looks. It just black just kind of matches with everything. So. Uh, if you guys want this hat, I actually made a whole kind of like compilation video of me making the hat on the new version of, of uh, Instagram. Because you guys know that once Instagram got updated, they kind of stole Snapchat. And I finally got to it, like got to like actually using it for the first time yesterday. And so this is kind of like my first little video of it. I really like the way this app is because... I like Snapchat, but on Instagram I have a, a bigger audience, and so it just feels really good to have like a lot more people viewing my stuff. So I really love it, man. Like, if you guys already already follow me on Snapchat, I mean Instagram, uh, I'm gonna do it to you right now. Check it out. HQ Clothiers, God, you can't see it because of the lighting, but HQ Clothiers, it's H-Q-C-L-O-T-H-I-E-R-S, and you'll be able to see all the pictures that I got on there. I just wanted to take a second out of my day to give my boy a shout out. His name is Salim. This is a jersey that I made for him that he got assigned by Alan Iverson, and uh, he had the jersey framed for his son. Yesterday, he sent me this dope-ass picture. Let's see if I can find it. Where's it at? This one right here. He's rocking my jersey at the um, the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And I think the reason why I was so captivated by this picture is because he's rocking a jersey and every single person around him has a suit on. Like, that tells you something. Like, that tells you something. Like, this guy, even though I, I haven't known him longer than six months, he, he stands behind my brand more than sometimes I even do, to be honest. Like, he pushes my brand really hard. So, for that... Thank you. Uh, guys, give him a follow. This is his Instagram right now. So check him out. So finally leaving the house. We've been in there all day. Now we're out here. And um, I'm really testing like the low light capabilities of this camera. So if you, I'm trying to see it. Like, if, we, if we can't see throughout all the footage, I might have to scrap everything. But uh, we're trying to go out, get a drink. It's supposed to turn right there. Sorry. You can make a U-turn or something. Maybe I should stop vlogging and get this girl some directions. This is me and Clarissa's first time drinking together, which is kind of weird because I'm just not fingering what she likes and she's fingering out what I like. Simply Fruit Punch Tropic. Same thing? Yeah. So we decided to get one of these small ass bottles of Grey Goose. This is Le Citron. I think that's how you say lemon in French. I don't know if I'm right, but um, we are going to be responsible not drink and drive. So um, yeah. It's two. Yo. Yeah, if that one went in, he definitely would have done something. <laughs> so we got we decided to get the two Kazukis, but we ordered one, and the one it was supposed to come like half and half, but the kitchen kind of messed up and gave us this. But this is my favorite one. Mm. Mm. So good. All right, what did you get? White chocolate macadamia. White chocolate macadamia, cookies and cream, about the smashes. 
So I'm choosing to end last night's vlog right now. Spent a lot of time with Clarissa last night. It was really fun. We don't have much time to kind of, you know, just have like me and her time. But um, last night I started dabbing in Instagram's new video kind of thing, how they kind of ripped off Snapchat. And I really like it. Um, I posted a video of me making a hat on there last night. Got a lot of positive reviews and a, a lot of inquiries. So I think I'm going to, uh, I really like it. So I'm really going to kind of push that there. And of course I'm going to be, uh, more consistent, you know, with filming for YouTube videos and stuff like that. But if you guys haven't already followed me over there, do so. It's uh, HQ Clothiers for those who don't, for those who don't know how to spell it. H Q C L O T H I E R S. And um, you know, I'm 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 posting content on different social media pages. So you know, if you're following the the Instagram, it may not be the same content on as on YouTube, you know, the way it should be, the way social media should be worked, it shouldn't be the same content, but on different platforms, so I try to keep it fresh and new, so go ahead and follow me over there, if you guys want to follow me on my personal one, that's cool, it's uh, Moses underscore Vega, and um, I'm going to take this footage, edit it in my software, have it up for, to, for today, today's Monday, and I'm going to be working on tomorrow's video, so um, I guess I'll catch you guys later.